Oh, this is great! Oh my god! There's a bat flying around. There's a bat flying in here. <laughs> hey, 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 Jake, don't take it, don't take it. Now, outside of just yourself and wrestling, was there a toy when you were a kid that was your absolute favorite that if you saw it today, you'd be like, oh, I have to get this? What's up, everybody? It's another Sunday, and we got another toy hunt. Kind of a very unique one. Uh, I got to spend an entire day with Jake the Snake. That's a sentence. Really cool Comic-Con in Flint, Michigan is where we spent our day, but uh, it was a great experience. Some craziness happened throughout the day. That's where we are today for this vlog, but I did get to hang out and chat with Sergeant Slaughter and he will be coming out with a bit of a commercial. This is Sergeant Slaughter and I want you to know. Okay, a bit of a commercial promoting series two of the Asylum All-Stars action figures. Uh, and he, uh, as payment, said, I will do this commercial for you, but I have to be able to put you in the Cobra Clutch. And he did, and it sucked, and it hurt. But he did get me this thing after. <laughs> I guess I'm in some kind of gang. I'm in the Sergeant Slaughter gang. It's called the, uh, of the Cobra C Clutch Club. The Cobra Clutch Club. Good luck saying that 10 times. There's the coin. Cobra Clutch Club right there. A little Hall of Fame thing for himself there. But uh, so yeah, I, I survived the Cobra Clutch guys. And we've got a commercial coming out with Sergeant Slaughter coming soon. Let me remind everybody, Pro Wrestling Illustrated out now, okay? If you want, let me flip to the back here. If you want a fold out Ethan Page poster, these are available, all right? Right now, PWI, go get them anywhere you get your magazines and books and then we've got a top 10 list of the best vlogs my personal favorites with little information about that there and then a little letter from ethan page to the fans so this is available in the latest pwi magazine so if you want to go grab that there it is and then the issue coming out after i'm not going to show you the back but the back of this issue when it drops will announce every single person in series two for the Asylum All-Star series and a fifth figure that is coming out. You guys wanna see? You guys wanna see? You gotta wait. <laughs> Obviously I bought toys, so we're gonna get to the toy hunt portion. But the fans, the fans really came through with some absolutely amazing gifts. Uh, here's one gift actually that fans gave me. They watched the Sega Genesis video, which is this video right here. I love that video. Go check it out with my collection. And this was not listed as one of the fighting games. So a fan wanted to make sure that I got this. So thank you to that amazing fan for not only watching one of my favorite videos I put out, took forever to make that video, but to know that I didn't have something and to add it to my collection. Thank you very much. So, the fans. I screwed up. Hey, the good thing is I wasn't filming when Jake was talking trash. Okay, so you said you got this on eBay? I did. Someone somehow parted with it, I don't know how, but. I don't know, why would they get rid of it? Hey, whatever fan got this on my whatnot and flipped it, thank you. Cause it's in a happy home now. Yeah. Okay, now that I'm actually recording, we can talk about this toy. Oh wait, did you put that on the yeah, hand? Yeah, sculpted that on the hand. You sculpted the Karate Man? Yep. Holy crap. So this is full-blown collab. All the characters, North Gear, Michigan Gear, Karate Man headband, amazing. Okay, hold on, whose face is that, Bobby Roode? Yes, it is. Yeah, I know my guys, there especially Canadians. It may or may not be an MJF body too, but we won't talk about that one. We don't like him. We do not. Oh my God, it glitters. It the tights glitter. glitter. So do my real tights. Oh, 
Oh, oh, this is great. Oh my God. Hey, why won't he let you hit people with the DDT? What's up with that? I won't do it because I won't let him get up. Well, uh, listen, I was just like, oh, you should have hit Orange with that DDT. Oh, yeah. And Lance over here getting mad. I would have been your cheerleader behind you. There you go. <laughs> that, dude, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, you take you take a quick second because I'm gonna do a little intro here. Uh, we are at really cool con in Flint, Michigan, but I wanted to shed some light on my banner because they did such an amazing job. And uh, I'm right here actually. I'm just standing tall over fellow vlog friend Preston Vance, and it's the perfect timing because I'm here meeting somebody who's wearing a Preston Vance shirt. Had to. Representing some Michigan boys. I'm counting myself because I live here now. I'm in the mitt somewhere. I haven't really figured out where on the map I live, but I'm in the hand at least. Do you have a message that you would like to send to Preston Vance? In Mexico jail right now, apparently. I love you. Please get out of jail soon. We miss you on TV. Yeah, I miss you on TV too. Please reveal. What the F? You drew this? Yes. No, you didn't. Yeah. What? Why is there so much detail? There's like mustache hairs. That's what that is. Oh my God. This is wild. You want me to sign it? Oh, I get to keep it. Oh my God. There's the signature. Oh, my daughter's name is Gabriella. I know, I like it. <laughs> this is incredible. Thank you. You're very talented. And you nailed my eyes. Half open, half closed. <laughs> You already said you want to go on a toy hunt with me. Yes, I do. Okay, so give me give me the whole spiel. Okay, you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell. You not gonna tank? That was awesome. Yes. <laughs> What's in the backpack, Hook? All right, so for your son, since you love Ninja Turtles. Yes. No way! Yeah, so little headbands for them. Uh, what? Yeah, oh! I kept Donnie because I had a conversation on YouTube with you on how you didn't like Donnie. So I was just like, I'll keep Donnie and you can have the other three. All right, so listen. So I'm going to I'm gonna wear one of these. My daughter and my son are going to wear yep. one. And you're going to be in the wild as Donatello. Yes. That's fine? Yeah. All right. Hey, thank you, man. This is awesome. One thing for you, though. What do you mean? I'm, this is not for me? That's for the kids, I thought. But okay, you, okay, all right. So, this is what? signed by Kevin Eastman. It's my, part of my personal collection. So, this is a variant cover of that Wolverine Hulk. Cover. Yeah. And I know you love Wolverine. I do. So, I'm going to give this You don't to have you. to give me that. I have, I have a large... So, I figured this can oh be my God. Your It's signed by Kevin Eastman personally because I went to San Diego Comic-Con and met him. He's Holy. a wonderful human being. I just I, so I got to meet him okay. because of whatnot. Okay, cool. But it was like in passing at one of their after parties. Yeah. The sweetest guy. Yes, he's the so coolest awesome. guy. Yeah. This is incredible. Thank you so much. There's a fan that always comments that I should show more Godzilla. So there you go.
Mexican bootleg. Oh, this one's cool. You're good, you're over there, you're handling business in your uh, Can I Start a Pile shirt. You're wearing the Goro Bros shirt. Where can you get these shirts? Um, uh, I got a shirt. Well, I like, I like your shirt too. Put me right on the spot, I can't remember what I don't make any money off those, I'm not on it, but I'll support AEW. I don't ever want to be in a Blood and Guts Played match. Played by Julian. What was that? Played by Julian. Dot com. Dot yeah. com, yeah. Bye, Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got to meet all the fans. We got to get a little toy hunting in, a little shopping in. That was amazing. We'll get to what I purchased later. But now I'll need to talk to you guys about what the F happened in this building. It was pure chaos. Hey, bro, why'd you shut the lights off over here? Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought, you know what? There's so many people in here. Let's just turn the lights off and then let's make sure the elevators don't work. And then also let's shut down the air conditioning. Oh, you know what? You should also let a I bat a in. Yeah, there we go. That would attack me and Jake the Snake. What are you worried about? You're over there with your light. Um, the power went out. An entire arena, half of the arena that we were in, the elevator was out. So people that needed to use the elevator to get up were not able to use the elevator to get down. It caused a lot of problems. I don't put blame on really cool con for that. They adjusted and helped as many people as they could. It was not on them. The Saturday went flawlessly. It was a crazy, crazy storm on that Sunday and something happened. But the only place that had light was where I was standing with Jake, Sergeant Slaughter, some other guests and some very lucky vendors because the rest of the place was almost blacked out. I was with Jake. Something happened with the door getting opened, I think because the AC was knocked out, so they kept the door open. And through that door flew a bat. Pretty sure this bat had a personal vendetta against Ethan Page, because he attacked me. So, let's take a look at uh, Ethan Page getting attacked by a bat. Lower and lower. Get, it's get, coming to get you, Jake. Get, get, get. It's Ozzy Osbourne trying to meet Jake. What the? Why is there a bat in here, though? She's been living up in the rafters for a while. And also, what's going on with the lights? The lights are off. What's going on in here? Get, 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 get. There's a bat loose at the really cool Comic Con. Also, what's going on with the lights? What, what's going on in here? Well, the lights have went off. Now there's a bat flying around. There's a bat flying in here. <laughs> this damn thing. Hey, just try to catch with your hat, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to this big dog. 
Yeah, ho, ho! So yeah, I uh, survived. I know that's important to all of you, so I survived. And I survived long enough to interview Jake the Snake Roberts about toys. And yeah, this thing got off the rails and it was uh, great. So enjoy <laughs> this absolutely terrible interview with Ethan Page and Jake the Snake Roberts. All right, here I am surrounded by toys and geeks standing next to one of the greatest of all time, Jake the Snake Roberts. How are you doing today, Jake? Doing great, man. Just glad to be here. Yeah, this is, I'm trying to do this as a very official interviewer. Yeah. yeah, since my wrestling career ain't going too well, I'm trying a new avenue, interviewing successful wrestlers. So here I am to talk to Jake the Snake. Maybe you should try, like, uh, capturing bats for a living. <laughs> no, I am. Yeah, listen, in this video, people have already seen my reaction to that bat. Oh, I'm <laughs> so, sorry. Yeah. By the way, if people want to know if men are made differently, they are. Because you know who didn't move one inch? Sergeant Slaughter and Jake the Snake. He couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of toy collecting, comic book collecting, old school video games. It's essentially just me chasing nostalgia and sharing it with my friends. You have one of the most iconic wrestling figures. I would say it's the Hasbro Jake the Snake action yeah. figure with the, the clothesline action. Is that what it is? No, no, no. What is it? No. It's just the it's just figure, but it's hand-painted by Sin Bodhi. Wait, which one's this? Oh, it's, it's a Hasbro, isn't it? Those are the ones that he makes. We're talking about the old school. Oh, yeah, the I'm talking about the original, school. the people that are still getting them on card. Oh, wow. I haven't seen. The, the I haven't the seen. The punch. Okay, it's got the punch. I haven't seen one of those in a while. There's one right around. You want me to go buy it for you and bring oh. it back? No. Okay. I have <laughs> some at home. So, so you have another figure hand painted by Sim Bodhi? Yeah, I do. Man. So you have a it's website really with with toys? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You just come to uh, JakeTheSnakeRoberts.com, man. JakeTheSnakeRoberts.com. JakeTheSnakeShop.com. Either way, we're going to triple check and make sure we put a lower third and, and all that good stuff. So you guys can go support Jake the Snake and grab some custom toys? Custom toys, man. Stuff that you won't see anywhere else but on my site, including pillow buddies. Remember those old school pillow buddies? Yeah, I used to beat your ass all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, that's the only thing you beat. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we... We've also got, have Pillow Buddies. Okay. They're the new and improved line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, the, the markings on them are really sweet and tight, and uh, they're just uh, they're just awesome to look at. Okay, so I have two questions for toy collectors. What is Jake the Snake's favorite Jake the Snake action figure? Oh, wow. Probably the original LJN. The original LJN? Yeah. Because it was the first one. That was your first ever figure? Yeah, I think so. That's a great first figure. <laughs> okay, so original LJN. Add that to your collection, guys. Now, outside of just yourself and wrestling, was there a toy when you were a kid that was your absolute favorite that if you saw today, you'd be like, oh, I have to get this? Her name was Susan. And uh, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Were we going to stick with that answer? No. <laughs> okay. Cheryl. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't switch the, the ladies. Okay, what, what, what would be something from your childhood that would, that would get you nostalgic? Oh, man, it had to be my bulldog. Your, your bulldog. pet bulldog? Yeah, I had a pet bulldog that was just really cool. Okay. Yeah. So not a toy collector? Not or a toy Or you didn't play with toys? Couldn't afford them. Couldn't afford them. We were uh, brutally poor. It's true. If if Jake has one skill other than professional wrestling and cutting promos, it's 
making people that stand near him sweat. I'm I am sweating profusely right now. All right, Jake. Thank you so much. You. I to I am great to see you. I've had a fantastic time working with you at AEW. Other than uh, my debut, where you clotheslined my ass out of my boots. But I also wanted to bring up the fact that uh, with AEW together, we do a lot of community events. And Jake is always there donating his time and bettering the communities that we travel to. So I want to shed some light on that because I, I feel like uh, it's not talked about enough. And I appreciate you setting an example for the younger talent and still at this stage of your career being willing to do that work. Yeah, absolutely, man. Anytime. Hell yeah. Jake the Snake. He's, just, he's walking off frame because he said, F*** this guy. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. So, you guys got to see me talk to Jake. You guys got to see me get attacked by a bat. You saw me shop for toys, meet some amazing fans. You got to see really cool con in Flint, Michigan, and I'm happy about all that. But what did Ethan Page buy? This is why people watch the Toy Hunt vlogs. I think, I don't know. I don't know why they watch it, but they do. So, <laughs> the purchases of this week's Toy Hunt. Let's start off with this bad boy right here. We got a beast, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, bendy style. I think they're called bendums. Yep, bendable, posable, collectible. We got Beast. Comes with a nice little cape there. I'm pretty sure I've purchased this before, loose, but I wanted to get this for my daughter. And card, not mint at all, but she can at least open it and have a fresh figure. One of, if not my favorite Marvel Legend of all time. I bought a second one. This box looks way better than the one that I have which means I can open the one that I have and photograph it on Posed by Page. Go check that out, at Posed by Page on Instagram. Uh, actually, recently, me and my daughter were posting a bunch of uh, photos together because we watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original movie, before we went to go see the new movie, which I liked. Now we get into the Ninja Turtles. I've been mean, on a Ninja Turtle kick. The collection's kind of huge. Got this one for my son, for him to be able to open. I thought it was really cool. Then we've got a bunch of Lucy's. We've got Disguised Donnie. We've got Army Raff. We've got the Wrestler Mikey. Oh yeah, those are wrestling boots. So we've got the Wrestler Mikey. And then we've got some kind of punk rock Donnie. That's two Donatello's I purchased for everyone that's talking trash, because I don't like Donatello. It's not even that I don't like him. He's just not my favorite. He's my least favorite. And I did purchase the first appearance of Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang in TMNT uh, issue number one, I think Adventures of the Ninja Turtles. So I'm gonna end up getting that graded. In a video in the future, I'm gonna head to a comic book shop and I have a bunch of books that I wanna get graded and I'll share the entire process with you guys and then the grades of the books too. But got that book, need to add that to the list of things that I purchased. Anyways, that's all the purchases. That's everything that I bought. I want to thank Really Cool Con for inviting me in Flint. It was less than an hour drive for me from where I live to get there. So that was uh, very cool to be able to be in my own bed at night. And so I was very happy to be able to have something so awesome. I should say so cool. So really cool, really close to where I live. That's one of my last appearances. My last appearance will be August 20th. The Asylum Wrestling Store is hosting an epic convention. The roster is absolutely stacked. We'll be announcing toys, we'll be showing prototypes, we'll have uh, as much as we can to show for the Asylum All-Stars, as well as, like I said, an insane roster on August 20th in New Jersey at WrestleBash. Ethan Page will be there, I'll be signing autographs, meeting everybody, vlogging the entire thing. So join me. I don't know when my next one will be. We're at August. That'll be at the end of August. Seeing a lot of people asking me, are the vlogs done? Obviously, people don't watch every single video, which I get. Um, so people might have missed me explain everything. So I'll explain it throughout the next couple of videos. I'm hoping people stay till the end to see this stuff. But it's not that the Toy Hunt vlogs are done. I am just going to wrap up the season. I'm waiting still to put out the final episode, which was at my um, childhood toy store, Bounty Hunter Toys we did a huge event for AEW together to get toys out to kids that need them. So that is still coming out. I still have a huge unboxing coming out. So we've got content, but I've kind of just been filming these and stretching out this first season, the Toy Hunt vlog, cause I'm waiting to wrap it up to really take a true break and kind of release random videos throughout until I figure out what I want to do next. I have an idea, but 
I'm not trying to tell any of you guys yet. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. The content's not over. We're just through, I guess, a change and some growing pains and uh, an adjustment period. So stay with me, enjoy the content, but you will not be getting a weekly toy hunt video very soon. But I'm gonna try and put out as much content as possible. Does that make any sense? I don't know if it does. At this point, I'm just rambling. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks to Jake the Snake, he was great. Thanks to Sergeant Slaughter, he was great. Thanks to Really Cool Khan, you guys were great. Love you guys. See you guys on the next one. Probably next Sunday. But who knows? I might get busy. Ego, ego, me and my ego. He said I'm the man, better than you people. Forever he my hero, never be an equal. If you don't believe me, you can ask my ego. of your little cover story when i was a kid my ego used to cover for me way back when even now as men we go and hit the town just to watch the bags bend me and my ego two seater black bends oh you have friends i never needed those all i keep is foes and my feelings froze plus a couple evil secrets that my ego knows you a tool needle nose see them bleach your soul i am why they pay the fee i'm the one they came to see ego ego me and my ego he and no see no speak Like I done came with a crew Popping bottles by myself Seems stranger to 